Hello everyone, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. In this video, I'm going to explore one of the AI tool in order to create a 3D model. We are going to give an input to our AI tool to create a 3D model. Once it creates a 3D model and give you the result, we are going to download it and open in a next application. We are going to see how accurately it is going to create a 3D model. I am going to get a one more video on AI tool. That video is going to describe whether AI tool is going to replace the design engineer or 3D modeling engineer in future. So please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. So without wasting our time, let's get started with a today's video. So now we can see this is the website which I'm going to use in order to create a 3D model. So hyper3d.ai, I'm going to give this link in the description. So if you want, you can just explore it. Now, uh, once you go into this website, you need to create an account. Once you create an account, you can see here the credit will be given to you. So you can use those credit in order to create a 3D model. So once you come here, you can see uh, the plus icon, you can just tap on it and it will ask you to give an input so in this one what i'm going to do is i'm going to give uh, input as a this image okay so this image i'm going to give it as an uh, input and it is going to create a 3d model for this particular image so once you are uploaded you can just click on generate so it will take some time to generate the 3d model let us wait for the result and make sure whenever you are trying to give an image it should be in an isometric view suppose if you are giving in it in a 2d drawing images it is not able to create a 3d model so always your input should be in an isometric image so now you can see the model is being created and you can see something is over here. Okay, let us see how it is created. And if you want to do any changes, you can just give the instruction over here. So for example, uh, I want to remove this bottom protrusion. So I'll just give remove bottom protrusion okay i'll just give a redo so that it is trying to generate it again so now you can see the bottom whatever the protrusion we had it is being removed and now i can see it is good okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to download this model and open it in a nx and see how it is going to look so in order to download it you can just give a confirm here okay so once it is generated you can see here there is a download option and you have a multiple options here to download so stl is the format which i'm going to download because this you can able to open it in a nx so now i'll just click on download so now the model is being downloaded. So let's go to NX. So now this is the NX. In order to import STL format into a NX application, we are going to create a new model. So I'll just go to new. So once the model is created, I'm going to import the STL file into this model. So we'll just go to file import. And here you can just select a STL. Okay now we have to give the stl file location so i'll just go to open and select the downloads this i'm going to select and you can just keep as it is and you can just click ok so this will take some time to import the model so we can just wait for the result so now you can see it is being imported and i'm going to fit this ok so once I fit, you can see this is the model that is created. So if you ask me whatever the input that we have given, almost 80% it is being matched and maybe 20% of the model is not matched. So now you, whatever the downloaded model is there, it is in a STL format. So if you want to make it parametric, you can just make it a remastering or you can just create by using a extracting a curves so this is the way how we can create an ai 3d model guys so if you have any doubt please comment in the section below i'll try to answer thank you